Hi everyone, it's Karishma here from MapleSoft. Today we're going to use MapleLearn to solve the following exponential problem. In this problem, we are told that the temperature of a cooling liquid is, model, is modeled over time by the function t of x equals 60 times 1 half raised to the power of x over 30 plus 20, where t of x is the temperature of the cooling liquid in degrees Celsius and x is the elapsed time in minutes. We are asked to graph the function t of x, calculate the temperature after 10 minutes, and determine how long it will take the temperature to reach 28 degrees Celsius. So let's solve this problem together. MapleLearn displays the graph of the function as soon as we enter it into our document. So let's go ahead and do that. t of x. Thirty, twenty. You'll notice the plot right here in the plot window, and now we can use the plot toolbar icons um, to get a better view of the exponential nature of this function. Let's go ahead and zoom. Now, question two asks us to determine the temperature after ten minutes. We can do this easily by plugging in the value of ten into the function that we defined in group one. So let's do that. We want t at 10 minutes is approximately 67.62 um, degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and write that answer out. So the temperature at, oops, this temperature at 10 minutes is approximately. 7.6 degrees Celsius. Now obtaining the answer for Q3 is slightly more involved. To solve this problem, we need to work backwards from the temperature given in the question, so 20 degrees Celsius. Step one is to substitute the final temperature into the equation for T of X. So let's do that. We have 28 equals 60 times one half power of x over 30 plus 20. Now, at this point, we could use MapleLearn's context panel to solve for x, but I prefer to reserve that particular gem for the very end when I'm checking my answer. It might just be me. But personally, I think there's no better high than solving the problem yourself and then confirming that you, what you did was right. So now, um, in order to solve this problem, we're going to need to subtract 20 from both sides. So let's do that. I have 20 plus 20. Just make life easier by copying right hand side, subtract 20. Then we have to divide both sides by 60. I have to scroll down to give myself a little bit more real estate. So we can use the calculated result and let's divide this by 60. The right hand side by 60 as well. Now what we need to do is isolate the um, or isolate for the exponential term and we can do this by remembering the inverse log property which states that the log base a of a to the x is a or sorry is x. Let me write that down. So the inverse log property states that the log base a of a to the x, first person away, is equal to x. So we're going to apply this, use this, and we're going to take the log of one half on both sides. Log base one half 
And I like to put things in brackets just to make it visually clearer what I'm doing. One half. And this is going to simplify to copy this. The left hand side, the right hand side is going to simplify to x over 30. Now we need to evaluate this left hand side. And so to do this, we must apply the change of base formula, which states that log base a of x is equal to log base b of x divided by log base b of a, where b can be any value we want. Let me write that down. So the change of base formula states that the log base a x equal to log base b x x divided by log b of a. So now we can go do that. This, oh, and just something to note, you know, the value that you should choose for b. Most calculators include a button calculating the common logarithm, so that's log base 10, and the natural logarithm, which is log base e or ln. And it's common to use one of those when applying the change of base formula. So for this particular example, I'm going to use the natural logarithm as my change of base variable. So then this I would rewrite as ln of 2 over 15 divided by one of one half. I'm going to say this is equal to x over 30. And then the next step here is to rearrange this equation so that the x term is on the left hand side and to solve for x. That this will be x over 30 equals, I'm going to make life easier by just copying this. So, and now we need to multiply both sides by 30 in order to isolate for x. x equals 30 times ln of 2 divided by 15 all over ln of 1 half, which gives us a value for x or time as approximately 87 minutes. So it will take approximately 87 minutes for the liquid to reach 28 degrees Celsius. And we can actually check our work or check the result by substituting 87 back into um, the function for t of x. So let's do that. t, let's substitute 87, and we should get about 28 degrees Celsius. Now we can also use Maple Learn's context panel to solve for x. So let, let me show you how you can do that. So t of x is what it was, um, we defined it as. And I want this, go back to the bottom, to be, I wanted that equal to 28. And now we can, Click on solve for x, and this is the result, and this is the exact solution, and we want the approximate solution, which is about 87.2, which is exactly the same thing as we um, obtained um, solving it ourselves. Now, I've documented all of these steps in a Maple Learn document. Here it is, um, which you can access on the maplesoft.com website, and this document, it details everything I've done step by step and explains how you can go and do this. If you have any questions about this video or would be interested in having me solve um, some other problem, some other problem, excuse me, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks so much for watching.